This is a resource pack, not an add-on, so you can use it on any world, realm, or server without needing to access the world files. Hello and welcome to another Minecraft add-on showcase and tutorial with me, Foxy Notel, here talking to you about my markers pack, a pack that I brought out quite a while ago and I've done a few updates and fixes to it. The first update you will see if you have the experimental version of the pack I have updated the biome detection feature, so it will now detect every single biome and biome variant in the game. Now, this is not the best example because this is in the plane, so let's go find some interesting biomes. The savanna, a forest, some kind of jungle. I've got a feeling that if I put an armor stand down here, it's going to tell me this is a dripstone caves, a meadow, a river, and a flower forest, a birch forest mutated. So there you go. It's got all of the different variation, the hills mutated and all that sort of stuff. And like I say, there are 83 different biome variants, including all of the nether ones and the end dimension as well. And like I say, this biome detection feature only works on the experimental version of the pack, which requires you to have the Molang features experimental toggle enabled. Anyway, that's enough of biomes. You'll notice there have been a couple of changes. The first one is that the first pose is now the biome detector. And if we change to the second pose, I have updated the materials for the spawn spheres. These spawn spheres are where mobs will spawn on the four chunk simulation distance i can't do bigger chunk simulation distances because entities will only render up to 70 blocks away chunk borders have been fixed so that they actually line up with the chunk now and the other fix is the y level coordinate which wasn't working on the most recent version and that's been fixed for the nether coordinates as well and that's it for changes, but there is a new feature. The final pose of the stand now has an actual pose, and if you look at these spawners, you might be able to guess what that is. If you want to thank me for all of the hard work and effort I put into making these packs, you can do by liking the video, and make sure to subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all of the new packs and features that I've got coming out over the next few weeks and months. So let's imagine we've found three spawner cages in our rel world relatively close to each other. How do we know exactly where to stand in order to activate all three of them? Well, now you can detect that with our armor stance pack. If I give this guy a banner, he is on the final post state, then you've got a green box around the spawner, which is where mobs will spawn. The armor stand has to be standing on top of the mob cage in order for this to be in the right place, but mobs will spawn within this green box around that. And the red ring around that is where you need to be in order to activate the spawners. So if I go slightly inside of this red sphere, you'll see it is activated. And if I come out of it, it's deactivated. If I come down here to the very bottom and just sort of sneak in through the bottom here, you'll see that it activates. And what that means is if we've got a few spawners next to each other and we give them all a banner, we can actually determine where the best place is to stand to activate all three. So where the spheres overlap each other is pretty much this point down here. So if I'm here, I can see that one's working, that one's working, and that one's working. So I know this is where I need to stand in order to go AFK. And that's it. And of course, as always, this pack is available to download from foxynotel.com. If you've got any issues at all, please do join my Discord and let us know. We've got a bit of a technical support thing going on there now, and hopefully everything will be good. Anyway, that's enough from me. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do leave a like. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.